Hey, it's me again, friends. Uh, I reckon I just feel led to just start recording dreams all day as I have a free moment. Uh, so about three nights ago, I had a dream that I was walking through the mall and a lady stopped me at a kiosk. And as we were talking, she was telling me that I needed to get with the football coach at Science Hill. And she said that there was a, still an upper room at the old campus. As I walked through the mall, I was going to the shoe store Journeys, and I could see the sign Journeys illuminated. But I was going there to work part-time, and when I went in the back to clock in, my time card said that I was working from 6 p.m. to 9.45. But then as I come to the front of the store, talking to the manager, a lady comes in just extremely pregnant. And she was asking for a restroom, and the manager said that they don't have a public one. But I looked over at him, and I said, she's about to pop. Like, she just looked like she was going into childbirth right then and there. So he handed me the keys. I handed them to her. And as she, as soon as she got into the restroom, the whole front of the store opened up into a field. And I could just see, like, glimmering light everywhere. But then to the right-hand side, there was three women singing, like uh, maybe dark gowns or dark dresses. But uh, all I know is that I feel pretty pumped up that the Lord was telling me to connect with the football coach at Science Hill and that there was still an upper room. And through Scripture, we know what was taking place in the upper room. Uh, and that is just so motivating. Uh, but that it was still... This upper room was located at the old Science Hill campus. So for folks that's been in this community for a long time, I'm seeking wisdom on this. Uh, was there ever an upper room at the Science Hill campus? Is the upper room uh, a metaphor? Is it a, I don't know. I don't know if it's a place that people used to gather and pray years ago before church was, uh, before God was pulled out of schools. So I'm seeking guidance on it. Uh, if this sparks any thought to you, if you want to just continue to pray upon this, uh, I'd love to hear back from you. I love you guys. God bless you.